Hello guys, welcome back to Nanny's Recipe. So today we're going to enjoy some homemade burgers and I'm using store-bought uh, beef burger patties to make them. So I'll show you how I make them at home. So first of all, I've taken a grill pan and I put it on high heat. And once the pan is heated, I reduce the heat to a medium and I put my beef patties on. Before putting the patties on, I make sure that I oil the patties well so that the burgers are well coated with oil. Uh, place them one by one and depending on how you like them uh, if you want medium or medium rare just reduce the cooking time I've left these for about five minutes on one side and I'm ready to flip them over so they are uh, You can see those grill marks on them and that's what we're looking at So I've turned all four patties now be ready to put the cheese on any type of cheese I've used the chili cheese here and put these on and then I'm going to cover these with a uh, lid. I'm going to leave them now for another five minutes and let the cheese melt. Now we're going to make some burger sauce and this is how I make them. I got some hot chili sauce here and I'm going to add a tablespoon of ketchup, a teaspoon of mayonnaise and give it a good mix and be ready with a homemade burger sauce. You could also buy the ones that you are readily available in the supermarkets. It's all up to you and your taste. So we're ready with the burger sauce once they mixed it all properly. Now I have grilled my brioche buns on each side and now I'm going to layer this up now to make our burgers. So I like to put some lettuce at the bottom first and um, arrange them and then we're ready to put a beef patty and the cheese is melted really nice and lovely and over this I'm going to put some sauce and I'm going to spread it all around evenly and after this I'm going to add a tomato and then I had got some mixed salad at home so I got some cucumbers and some red peppers which can go over this burger you could also use some fried onions if you like that any toppings to your choice so the other side of the burger now and I've covered it with the sauce very ever so lightly and then we're ready to assemble our burger. So a couple of more lettuce leaves, we put a burger on the top and voila we're ready with our beef burger. So it's so easy to make at home and you know once you can buy these from the store it's so much more less expensive to do this at home so here we are guys i hope you will all try this and enjoy thank you so much see you again bye